Did you lose? Are you? What are you? Are you on Evo? My stream's up. I just lost my first and second base, or my home and second base camera. My first and third, which are up higher, for some reason are working. So. Because they were having problems on that last team. So the other team lineup, we got it. Oh, home plate came back. I'm just gonna go restart. Oh, restart second. All right. Now home's back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are up and running. And we are visitors as the four seed here. So Jack will step in against the number one seed, D Diamond Club Rodriguez. I just gonna call him probably DC or, yeah, Diamond Club. And Jack Rabbits. Joe takes the first pitch as an off-speed pitch high. 57 right down the middle for Jack there. And next pitch. Balls away. So Joe now with a 2-2 two -two count, is that right? 2-1 two -one count. And we're having all kinds of technical problems here, folks. We uh, lost our second base camera already just to start my first base camera. Or sorry, my home camera has been going in and out. So hopefully this will all work. Joe now with 3-1 count. He can do with it as he please. In the on-deck circle, it's Jorge. Next pitch is away and so Joe is going to take a walk on five pitches so Diamond Club number one seed overall through their pool play yesterday their victory over Pueblo Premier just uh, 20 minutes ago uh, in a very exciting sixth inning walk off for them so lots of emotion lots of belief that they have what it takes to win this tournament this is the semi-final only four teams remain the original 15 I'm going to the second base, so maybe third base? No, third base won't get it. All right, we'll work on getting second base back, but I promise Joe is there. Uh, no, you keep doing this. We'll, we'll figure out second base later. Second base is nice to have. You can see it on the frame here. So, And Joe with a straight-legged uh, lead at second. Second base has been coming over. Pitch to Jorge, high and inside, 54. So that's one ball, one strike. Is that right? So now the uh, real difference here for this game in the semifinals and the finals will be who has the pitching uh, and who can go the distance. So we shall see. And a foul ball straight back. Joe had a fake run there. See if he could get uh, see if he could get some action from the pitcher there. But he pitcher just coming home with that, and then Jorge fouled it off. We'll see if Jorge has any, uh, or a pitcher has any second pitch here, because Jorge clearly in on the fastball. Fastball's all in the 54 to 57 range we've seen so far. And that ball's corked down the right field line, but foul. Man, on the, uh, on the video screen, it looks like... Uh, <laughs> Looks like the Mormon temple in Salt Lake City out there. <laughs> um, and Joe had better go to third. 
And it, it'll be out. Sorry, and I'm fixing the camera angle, and so I didn't get a chance. But Joe picked off from second. Let's play at third. So he trots back to the dugout. Disappointing, undoubtedly, for Joe. So one down. Base is empty now for Jorge. So good heads up play by Diamond Club. It's that sort of defense we've seen from our opponents all day and, or sorry, all weekend. And makes this a really fun uh, game to play when we've got good defense happening all around. And man, I'm freezing up all over the place. Looks like the I get a Wi-Fi error message. Let's see if that's a thing. And Jorge hits that ball straight back against the fence on a 58. So two balls, two strikes now, one down, no runners on. Jackrabbit's coming back from a two-hour break, much of it spent. Uh, underneath tents and out of the sun. We've probably got a good 80 degrees or warmer. And that ball hits the game changer set up for the Diamond Club. So we'll see if they come up and make some fixes on their side. They're streaming for their parents. What was I gonna do? Oh, temperature here. In Mile High City with a little wind popping up at 79 according to Weatherbug. Just under 80, but plenty warm in the heat. And that ball is high and a ball four. So Gianni will step in. Teddy on deck. I think that's Teddy putting the helmet on. Yeah, Teddy on deck. Gianni in the signal. Highly likely that Jorge is on the move here. And yeah, throw over. No real play. Jorge back safely. And we've got Jorge now with a little bit slightly bigger lead. Gianni. And that ball gets away. And hits, hits Jorge right in the arm. He get a timeout. I don't know if we can see that. He is skipping away there into the right field because that ball popped down, hit him right on the arm, right on the arm. He popped up asking for. Up with my cameras are down low. There, home plate's back. Yay. Let's see what we can get going on here. No. Breeziest we've had all day. That ball is 55 in elevator for a, was it 2 0 count. And the next pitch. And it's just absolutely crushed. One, two hops to the fence. Gianni will go into second, standing up. The ball got away. Good backup by the first baseman here. So now Teddy will be up. Runner on second. One run in. Oh, he has a ball in his back pocket. Totally unaware of it. Foul ball that we're bringing to the up. He meant to give that to the ump, but he totally forgot. He totally forgot a ball in his back pocket. All right, Gianni on second, Teddy up to bat. And ground ball, right to shortstop, who will move the batter, or the runner to third, and Teddy out at first. So, eh, don't love it, but does move the runner over. No idea what's happening with Verizon here, folks. I do know that Earlier, I was trying to call my wife, and we kept getting a no-service error, so I'm not sure if they're having trouble in Denver area. Apologize that I'm freezing up like crazy. I'm getting the errors here, but there's not much we can do. We rely upon the Wi-Fi. The whole network thing works on the, on, uh, the Wi-Fi working. An error with a late decision foul ball down the right side.
I'm going to need to put some suntan screen or sun lotion screen or whatever we're calling it these days on. All right, Aaron up to bat. He's going to take the ball high and inside, 58 miles an hour. We'll just power through on this. Hopefully the Wi-Fi gets better at some point. And Aaron pops that one into center. It's going to drop. Gianni will score. Aaron will take first. Man, just the time for my center field, my second base camera to be out where we've had a whole bunch of balls right at the middle. So two runs across. Don't worry about it, Keith. Let's see. Aaron back safely. Man, so much Wi-Fi slow. And the next pitch, it's outside, 54 for the first ball of the at-bat. So Ricardo now, hopefully we can put some pop into one. Score Aaron all the way from first with two down. Swing and a miss at a 54 mile an hour pitch in his eyes. One ball, one strike. Our boys having trouble being patient here. 55 is what you're seeing from this pitcher. And it's what we're seeing, what we set our uh, pitching machine at in batting practice. So these balls not breaking, not moving, not, not alternating in speed. And uh, therefore these look like batting practice pitches off the uh, judge machine. And our boys are just used to uh, swinging at every pitch on those machines, but they got to be better here. They got to be smarter. So Ricardo now steps in, and that ball is away. Whoa, great stop by the catcher. He actually, glove came off to stop that. 3-1 now, so Ricardo absolutely can pick the, the pitch he wants. And two good stops by the catcher here to keep the uh, ball from hitting the, the back. And we're back. Javon now in. In the on-deck circle, we've got Chris. Runners at first and second. And my second base camera is back, yay. And that will move nobody. How did Aaron not go on that one? We have to be going when that ball gets away, especially with two outs. Take away the force of any bag setup. So one ball is all to Javon. Javon, a big swinger. Could easily put this ball in the outfield. He's going to take that ball outside, though. Ball two. <laughs> A little intense for the crowd here for some chance for doing something with it. Oh, he's quoting Karate Kid. Javon swings the pitch well outside. <laughs> I guess that's a Karate Kid quote there, so. Swing and a miss at 55 inside. Two balls, two strikes. We got to get them now. Two balls, two strikes, two runners on and two down. Deuces are wild. Man, nice foul ball. 57 miles an hour. No, there's nowhere to go. First base is occupied. So Javon with our 500 slugging, third best on the team. So it really does, when he hits it, the ball goes a long way. Swinging a ball three there, but just make sure that he didn't. Got it. 
So Javon now will dig back in. So two is everywhere. Two runners on, two outs, two balls, two strikes. And Jackrabbits have plated two here in the we have the visitor. Diamond Club, number one seed. Ground ball down the third baseline and foul. Odds are on the batter the more pitches they see, especially since it appears that this uh, number 11 for Diamond Club doesn't have a whole lot of pitches in his arsenal. And he does hit that ball down third base. Error off the third baseman. He's going to stay there. Aaron's going to stay there. And everybody moves up 80 feet. So Javon with a good swing there. And incepts Chris. Chris Benton, uh, 320 on the season, on base percentage of 433. You like to have the bases loaded with Chris up, given how well he's been swinging the bat lately. And his, what did I say it was? We have a substitution for 44 for 15, and that'll be a, a guest runner, Isaiah for Aaron, which is a really smart move. Isaiah, super fast, very aggressive, as we saw from Aaron there, a little bit more timid on the bases. So now it's a big, big setup here. So Chris has to put the ball through the infield on the ground. And he will take that ball. Diamond Club does not take the uh, bait to throw down to third. And from the windup, we'll see number 11 bring the next pitch. And that's a ground ball. Through underneath the shortstop's glove. He'll pick it up. There'll be a play at home. And that ball goes off the catcher for two runs. Batters will advance, or batters will advance. another two bases. And that will be two runs across for a solid hit from Chris, who's out there at second base right now. <laughs> Don't, isn't the guy who says that in Karate Kid, isn't he the bad guy? Yeah, what is, what's he doing? Why are we why are we quoting karate kids? I'm not doing an interview. Alright, in steps Isai, our catcher, with runners at second and third, and a beautiful fifty-eight mile an hour pitch across the outside corner, painting that black of the outside edge. So Isai takes the first strike. And four to nothing, so four runs across in the top of the first feels good. And I'm also loving the fact that I'm so old now that Karate Kid apparently is back in vogue. It's, it's, now, it's now come back in vogue as vintage with the kiddos, I guess. Uh, all right, Isai now, ready for the next pitch. Swing, foul ball, off. Catcher's glove, shoulders, right, uh, right shoulder of the umpire. We are quoting Karate Kid out here. I have no idea why. And that ball is 54 and really high. Javon goes way down the, down the, uh, <laughs> here we go. I think the parents are having more fun than the kids are right now, for sure. Oh, nice pitch, nice pitch by number 11 on the outside corner for strike three, but not before the Jackrabbits are able to put Quite a few runs across the board, and put four, uh, four across the board. We will have uh, Gianni will be pitching, so we'll see him come out for his warm-ups here in just a bit. I'm going to put some suntan lotion on and or sunscreen or what do we? Because we don't want to tan anymore, we want to screen it. So I better put some screen on, uh, full protection exactly, and stay in the shade as it's pretty warm here. So, all right, uh, we'll go on mute, but I still should be able to pick up some crowd noise.
So, so now we've got uh, going to the bottom of the first here, Gianni on the hill, east side behind the plate. That'll put Joe at first, Chris at second. Now Ricardo slides to short when Gianni's on the mound because Jorge moves to third. Javon in left, Jack in center, and who's in right? Is that my kid wearing sunglasses? I think Teddy's wearing sunglasses in right. How weird is that? He's never worn sunglasses in his life, to my knowledge. Um, anyway, Johnny with the first pitch. It was a ball, second pitch, 59 and a strike. So Johnny with a fastball and a cutter. Uh, same arm angles, different grip. So that has flummoxed most of the batters he's fa faced all year, which is why he's, that ball is a curveball, huh? Gianni has struck out roughly half of the batters he has faced this year. And that ball is way high, 64. So Gianni's struggling a little bit. He's faced 62 batters. And of those batters, he has struck out 29. So half of that would be what? 31? 62 or 64, something like that. About where Gianni always throws, low 60s. All right, I am totally lathered up in sunscreen. And Gianni throws a 64 mile an hour fastball high and inside and number 23 up uh, base on balls. In steps a lefty for Diamond Club, number 13. Hey, let's go one nine. So Diamond Club uh, yesterday was able to, I think, score a bunch of runs, uh, which was helpful for them to secure the number one seed. And Gianni, nowhere near the zone, 62. So at this point, he's thrown, what, six pitches and five balls. Not sure what's happening. Maybe like Teddy, just didn't, not bringing his best stuff today. Something's off. Who knows? Runner goes. That ball will bounce out of Isai's glove. He will slide in safely. So 13 now, really in a good spot on a 2-0 count. Gosh, I'd love to see Johnny just throw a couple of these 
cutters. Now a cutter to a, a lefty is going to break in towards him. So I'm not sure that's the best move. That was a curve ball that came out of his hand and went straight up in the air. 3-0. <laughs> we got Johnny's dad stepping way away from the fence so he can give his, his opinion but not get in the way. And there's a strike at the knees on the outside corner. 3-1. and one. So Johnny 3-1 and one to the second batter in a row. And that ball is outside. So Gianni, nowhere near the strike zone for most of his pitches here in the bottom of the first. Not sure if he's got um, nerves or what's going on. But this is uh, the Gianni we saw early in the season where he couldn't find the strike zone. The Gianni of Wednesday night was unstoppable. So now if you remember the first game, Teddy walked a couple of kids. Those kids came around to score and then he settled down. We can only hope that Gianni will do the same. Maybe get a double play here. Swing and a miss. Play the third. The ball is to the outfield side. And everybody, nope, sorry, we only have first and third. So the, the runner on first didn't get the sign to go. But that was a strike. So we like to see that. Strike 64 right down the middle at the knees. So number seven now in a hole at 02. And that ball is low and away. For unknown reasons, we are quoting. That ball is hit straight up. First base side and it could be blown out of play. So that wind is blowing from left field across to right, <laughs> right field. <laughs> He's like, what is that? We have no idea why we're yelling random karate kid quotes as parents, but here we are. So the runner at first stays at first. Swing and a miss at 65. High heat. Number seven can't keep catch up with that. And we have the first out of the inning. Number 34 will step in for Diamond Club. Already choked way up on the bat. So conceding that uh, Gianni is throwing the heat here. And that ball is inside. Nice snag by Eastside to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Again, a ball, pass ball here uh, probably moves the runner from first to second every time. But coming home is not clear. The, the backstop is close enough that it would make it close. And Gianni will throw ball two. And that ball is high and away. So Gianni really in a hole here. So one down, Johnny steps off, re, rejiggers himself, gathers his thoughts, thinks happy thoughts. And that ball is right there, 65 at the knees. And a full count now. That ball is away and non-competitive. And that'll bring the bases loaded with one down. So Johnny throwing a lot of pitches here. I believe he only threw two innings yesterday, which would give him five for the remainder of today. But obviously, Coach is not feeling confident that uh, we should save our best pitcher for the finals because we're facing the number one seed here. You've got to get to the finals, so we'll ride Gianni, I think, to that finals game here, but we got to win the semifinal here first against Diamond Club, who now is threatening big time. Base is loaded. 60, there was the cutter, but it was floated high. So base is juiced, one down. 
play, uh, force at any base in field could potentially turn two. They are at double play depth, depth up the middle. Swing and a miss at 66 inside at the knees. So corners are in. So first base and third base, first base and third base are both in equal to the base. So if they get a ball, they're going to come home with it for the force. And that ball is absolutely un it's corked on just unbelievably hard. That ball is all the way to the fence. That ball goes nowhere near the cutoff and will come all the way home from Jack. A two run double for number 15 there. So uh, the um, Diamond Club not going quietly into the night. Immediately looking to get back some runs and claw them back. So those those walks come back and haunt us. A bunch of walks from Gianni and come around to score on a well struck ball for number 15. Left hander number 12 stepping in. And that's a ground ball down the left field line and foul. So lots of respect for Gianni and his speed. Every Diamond Club batter coming in already pre-choked up on their bat to get around faster on him. Oh, they say it didn't go. Okay, we appealed. Unfortunately, the field ump is in a really bad spot to know whether the, he went or not. You really want, you need the ump, ump down the left field uh, line to see if he went or not. And a ground ball right to Ricardo. Ricardo throws to first, to Joe who picks it up off the ground. And overthrow to third. The ball comes right back to, Ricard, uh, to Jorge. And one run scores. So that'll give us two down and number 52 steps in. Full of left-handed batters here for Diamond Club. I don't know if they had tryouts, only lefties were allowed, but runner on third, two down. Jack Rabbit's still ahead for three, but uh, Diamond Club absolutely closing that margin very quickly. 58 in the dirt and outside. Good stop by Isai. I think at this point, Isai is probably our best catcher for making sure no balls get past. Isai asking for Hump to clean off the plate for Gianni. Gianni hoping to use the entire plate here and bring the 60 mile an hour plus fastball and cutter to number 52 here. 50 top, 50 really up on the dirt, or sorry, up on the plate, and that ball is in the dirt. Fifty-two, well choked up on his bat, almost turned it into like a 24-inch bat. Swing and a miss. There's 62 at the knees. If he does make contact, he'll likely pull the ball on the ground to Chris over at second. And that ball, ah, that was the cutter, but it broke in over and out of the plate. It was had it been a fastball, it was strike. But it was not, it was a ball three and one now. Gianni is just absolutely struggling out there in a way we haven't seen since maybe the opening weekend. And there's a ground ball down to first. Joe scoops it up and he's gonna step on the base for the final out of the inning. So not how we would have drawn it up, but ultimately Jack Rabbits win the inning four three. Uh, that was, what did we start about 12, 25? So it took about 30 minutes for that inning, everybody. So whoever wins here at this field um, will have to travel according to the, even though the number one seed is here, we'll have to travel to field three. We are currently on field four, which is halfway across the park. So um, should we win, we will go offline and quickly scramble to build all, you know, to take down all of our stuff and then we'll run over and, and set back up. Uh, and we'll do our best to get online as fast as possible. Hopefully the Verizon's better by then. So we'll have, oh, sorry, I should have done this earlier when Keith had it up and ready for me. We'll have uh, Jack and then Joe and then Jorge. When those gentlemen get on, we'll see Gianni, Teddy, and Aaron. So almost batted around in the first inning, which is a good sign. Looks like we have a new pitcher. 
Is this the same kid? Oh, it's number 11. You're right, it is. It feels like he got taller, but number 11 here will step in. He might have. He's, he's 13. They get, they get taller overnight. And the ball's in coming down, ball thrown to second. Whipping around the infield, Jack will step in. Jack who got the save in our quarterfinal match, quarterfinal game. He is ready here for a brand new clean plate. So Jack needs to be patient here. Has really been putting the good wood on the ball, or good aluminum on the ball lately. He's going to take a 57 mile an hour pitch right down Colfax there to see that first pitch. So 275 down the line and to dead center. Combination of speeds, aluminum bats, and growing arms mean that we are starting to put more balls onto the um, uh, balls onto the outfield warning track and up against the fence as we saw in the first inning from one of the uh, Diamond Club players. I'm trying to figure what happened there, but it looks like pitcher now finally has a ball. And Jack ready. Jack Duggan kind of deep in the box for a pitcher who's only throwing 57. Swings and misses, and that's strike three. So three pitches, one down. So that was high heat that he went after. So now we'll see the top of the order with Joe. And Joe steps in. The ball is 56 and outside. And Joe will take the next pitch. That ball comes straight back at me. Ball a strike one. We have Jorge on deck. Chance of Super Joe from the dugout. Let's see if we can put the ball through the left side there. Ah, oh, generally that was a strike too, 57. Right there on the outside with the letters. One ball, two strikes. Huge hole in the left side if Joe can pull it through. Also with that crazy lip where the ball pops straight up in the air. That ball goes away. Pretty important that the Jackrabbits put some runs on the board in the top of the second here. And that curveball didn't curve. We've seen all, everybody's seen somebody throw that pitch before. And Joe will now take a full count. Given Gianni's struggles in the first, we really should put some runs on the board to give ourselves a little bit more cushion. And Joe hits that ball to the right side. And right fielder is not able to get it. It goes and bounces off the fence, actually, all the way 
Nice, right, he's gonna go to three. Looks like he's gonna go to three. And that throw was good, but not in time. Joe with a triple. Joe with a triple. That was big right there. Now we got Jorge, who is Mr. Contact, up to bat. That should put Gianni in the on-deck circle, if I remember correctly. Yep, it does. So can Jorge maybe be up in the box a little bit? Get himself. And that ball bounces in. Excellent stop by the catcher to keep the ball in front of him. He's going to look Joe back, but not make a throw. Ball. Oh, ball in the field, ball in the field. And we had a foul ball from the other side, which is funny because we just sent them one. They can send us one. And the ball's been retrieved, and now Jorge will step back in. Again, big hole on the left side if Jorge can pull it. Not sure whether the second baseman's playing, or the shortstop's playing quite up the middle like he is. The catcher stopping the ball on the inside, stopping the ball outside. Doing a really good job of being the receiver here for his number 11. Jorge will take ball three outside. So Jorge now. I want him to smash it too, but it's 3-0. Jackrabbit Law says you have to take or you run laps in practice. And he's not going to be a problem anyway. Jorge misses an important sign there. And so we'll be stuck at first. Gianni steps in. Gianni a chance to uh, redeem himself now. And Gianni hopefully will help himself here, not redeem himself, but help himself. Runners at first and third. Clearly a play is on because the catcher just came out and told everybody what it was. So we'll see if it's a snap throw to third, if it's a hard throw, but to the shortstop who comes creeping in or what it should be, maybe a throw over to first. And that ball is there. And that ball goes out to second base, goes into the outfield. And Joe is going to get down. He's going to be safe and get in underneath the throw. Nobody at second to receive that throw. So I, somebody missed the play there uh, on Diamond Club because that was not a, uh, not a fake throw. That was 34 trying to get Jorge at second. Nobody from the middle infielder stepped in to get that ball. And that was the only reason that Joe was able to score is because that ball actually went into the, onto the grass into the outfield. So Gianni now being asked to be patient. Hey, it's you sports. Drop the body bag comment. It's not classy. It's from Karate Kid. I don't give all right. a shit where it's from. All right, 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 all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right, some questions. People not knowing we're talking about Karate Kid, upset. Uh, Jorge is going to get picked off at second. And the throw at third, he comes in safe. Oops, I picked. So, so. Come on, come on. Gianni will take the next pitch here. That ball is outside. Come on, rabbits! There we go, go rabbits. There we go. And we took a ball outside. Next one. There we go. A ball is corked way left and foul. Oops, sorry. I'm... There you go. There you go. Good chance. And Gianni now really cluned in to number 11. And that ball is outside, 58, 3-1. Gianni now sitting on a pitch that he wants. Gianni, uh, Teddy in the on-deck circle. Let's see if we can put a ball to the left side and bring Jorge in. We got a ball, another ball on the field from our uh, opponents on the, or not opponents, but other team on the other field. And we'll reset. 
Coming from the wind up. And Gianni will take a walk. So first and third now. Teddy will have a chance to do something. Oops, I don't know how long I was muted for there, but we had a little conversation where uh, Ump was granting timeout for the coach to come out and uh, and make a pitching change, but Gianni was hopefully going to run to second, but by granting timeout, he kept Gianni from being able to run to second. So it sort of hurt our offense there um, on a walk. So the uh, so that's how that that's what that hurt. That's what that conversation is about. And then number 50 comes in for number 11. Uh, throwing nothing but strikes since he got here on his warm-up. So that was the conversation between Coach Paul and the umpires. And then we got the change here on the on the pitcher. He's throwing strikes. Uh, every pitch, every warm-up pitch has been a strike, but it's been 50. So uh, we'll see. There you go. Teddy kind of meandering over towards uh, the batter's box ready to get going. And then we've got, we've got some chatter going on here at the third base. Uh, and I think, um, I'm not sure exactly what that was about. That was about, there's been some complaints by uh, Diamond Club parents about our parents chanting, given the, uh, uh, the karate kid quotes, or if that was about Coach Paul trying to not have time given until our runner had reached first. Regardless, we now will reset first and first and third. Teddy will be up, and we've got Jorge on third, Gianni on first, and again number 50 coming in for number 11 to pitch during his warm-ups. He threw nothing but strikes. Was in the Low 50s. And Teddy now with the hype fire on his shoulder and a huge hole on the left side. Takes ball one outside, 50 miles an hour. And then and that ball's outside. The ball to second. Johnny is down, and now we'll have the play back home. Ojore will score. Yay! So Johnny with the stolen base, and Jorge in on the throw. Now Johnny, very deceptive runner. He will, uh, he doesn't, he kind of runs like a tree, but he's pretty quick. So Teddy now up. And a ball on the right side, or sorry, a hole on the right side. That ball is elevated at 51 and high. So now we got a 2 0 -oh, -oh count. Thank you, Keith. And my heart not beating too much, because I feel like Teddy's going to know what to do here. The huge hole on the right side. Wow, nice pitch, number 50. Throws that 50 mile an hour fastball right over the part of the plate. 
Christian. Now he knows what to do. And Johnny with a big lead, second baseman holding him on right on the bottom. And that ball is away, so Teddy will take a base on balls. And Isaiah will come in. Remember, he was subbed for Aaron. And so now we've got Isaiah stepping into the box with runners on first and second. And Isaiah's already scored a run, although he was pinch running for uh, Izzy. Or no, for, for Aaron, excuse me. Uh, Nice cloud comes over the field. And that ball is corked. Over the left, over the shortstop, head, left field. Everybody's going to go forward. 90 feet. Wow, really close at third. Gianni didn't really hustle it in there, baseball. But he's in there safely. So what a good first pitch swing to cork that ball into left center field. And now we'll have number 22 up. Ricardo will step in. A nice clean plate. Bases loaded call from the dugout. We got one down, Keith. One down. So got to be smart on the base pass, not get doubled up. And that ball is hit deep to left center, but left center, left center. Oh, what a great play by the left fielder. He just missed the ball. That ball is going to come in to the third base. And the runners will stay at first and second. Right, we are hitting out of our mind. We are hitting out of our mind. That was two runs in. Runners at first and second. And what do we got in here? We got Javon. Oh! Javon, Javon wanted that when he's swinging too hard, swinging too hard. <laughs> and we got Javon now with the bat on his shoulder, but he's up. Oh, strike two. Nice pitch there at the shoulders for number 50. So number 99, got to get that two strike approach, wide stance, chuck, choke up a little bit. And a chance, huge hole on the right side if he can hit it through and almost certainly score Isaiah from second. And Isaiah will retreat to second on that. Nice play by the catcher. Stop the ball and keep Isaiah at second. Uh, I wipe my eye with my sunscreen and now my eye burns. Ow. Oh, there you go, shot. Left side, gonna be a slow roller. Takes a weird bounce on that hit, on that lip. Left fielder does an excellent job retrieving it. Coming up running. So base is loaded again. So Christopher had a big hit last time he was up. Comes up, the base is loaded. Jackrabbits have played it for this inning. Lots of excitement in the Jackrabbits dugout for this pitch. He's going to take that pitch at the letters. Not much he could do with that. Didn't really love that pitch. Oh, Christopher's going to take that pitch high. I think there might have been a little bit of a overreaction there on the inside, but uh, nonetheless, one ball, one strike. And next pitch. That ball is outside. Yeah, Chris. Chris having much better plate discipline in addition to driving the ball better. And ooh, shadow back. And that's a ground ball at third base. Third baseman will throw it home. He's out on the force. And a really heads up play by the third baseman to make that pitch or make that throw, excuse me, and a good stretch by the catcher there. Not much that, I think that was Isaiah, not much Isaiah could do there. It was a good catch and throw. So base is still loaded for Isai, now two down. Really would like to see the Jackrabbits do more here and give Gianni additional breathing room given his struggles in the first inning. 
And that ball is hit into center field and will drop. And everybody will go 80 feet. No, not everybody will go 80 feet. We got Javon home. And we got runners in scoring position. Both of them scored. Two more runs in. And Jack, who led off the inning, if I remember correctly, will be taking the up his spot in the batter's box. And it looks like we may get a pitching change. I thought I saw somebody come from the dugout. Uh, so it looks like number 11 is coming off, who was our starting pitcher. And number 50 is going to go to, looks like short or left field. And we'll see a left-handed uh, pitcher. So maybe the first time in Jack's uh, history that Jack's ever been had a right-hander pulled so that he can face a left-hander. So we, we have the left-hander versus the left-hander. Whoa, he almost hit the umpire there. Yeah, he's throwing hard, but... Uh, <laughs> up a little nervous there. Yeah, I'd be nervous. Um, but have we ever had a left-hander? Like, they pulled the righty to pull, bring the lefty in against Jack. I don't know if that was on purpose or accident. You know. No, I haven't seen a yeah. left-handed pitcher yet this year. What are you talking about? We had left-handed pitchers in the last game. So as this pitcher takes warm-ups, so I'm going to go on mute and get some water. Oh. <laughs> and remember that the uh, um, on a steal, the pitcher or the catcher th was throwing down to second. Now we do have Esai at first. He's not the swiftest of um, players, so he may or may not be stealing or might only go on a pass ball. This pitcher throwing high 60s, just bringing absolute heat. And uh, uh, so he looks like he's throwing just, you know, BBs compared to the previous pitcher who was throwing 50. Uh, 20 mile an hour difference, really, between the fastballs. So far, number 12, though, stri struggling to find that strike zone. So two balls to Jack. And we'll see the next pitch. Nice on the corner, paints the black. Jack taken all the way. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if Jack can get around on it. Swing and foul ball, I guess, uh, off the glove of the catcher. Two strikes now and a 69 mile an hour fastball. So Jack in a hole now. Jack in a hole. He's not in a box, he's in a hole. He's got to be swinging anything close, so 
chokes up a little bit. Oh, nice pitch, nice pitch. 68 on the black. And that ends the game for, or ends the inning, not the game, with a lot of game left, excuse me. Ends the game for the, shoot, ends the inning for the Jackrabbits. But 10-3 as we go, 10-3 uh, as we go to the bottom of the second. Gianni will be back on the mound, I imagine. I know. I was wondering who played there as well. Because even softball, even softball, you hit the over. So that's got to be like nine. Yeah. So behind us, you can't see it, but we've got uh, a field that only has 214 to center and 218 down the line. So we're wondering who plays on that field. I'm guessing it's 9U um, or whatnot. Good luck, guys. One bad thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are trying to find the time for the game. We have an hour five on the YouTube feed, which would be crazy slow. But maybe that's where we're at. The top of that second did take a while. But, uh, yeah, that would be, that would put us at, Garrett, 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 good. I don't want to get yelled at. Get out of here. Okay, 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 okay. I don't want to get yelled at. All right, Gianni back on the mound. Let's see if his first inning struggles have been exercised. Oh, swing and a miss. A six, or sorry, swing and a foul ball for 64. So six, uh, number 50 for uh, on that pitch there, no problem. For Diamond Club, looks like he's digging in again. Let's see if he can straighten that out. Put our defense to work. And that ball is 65 and high. So Gianni been all over the place this afternoon. Oh, there it is. Nice hit into center field. And Jack scoops it up and throws it to second base. Oops. So Diamond Club had no trouble catching up to Gianni's fastball. 
And we got number 27 stepping in with a runner on first. Our defensive alignment appears to be the same. Teddy in right and Jack in center. And Javon in left. Or is that Javon left? Or I think that's Javon left. Uh, around the infield, we've got Jorge at third, Ricardo at short, Chris at second, and Joe at first. There it is, 62 on the outside corner. Nice pitch. Of course, Gianni's still throwing to Isai here in the bottom of the second. And he pops off the rubber, but no throw. Oh man, my eye. I got sunscreen in my eye because I have my finger and rub my eye. And just keeps 63 on the outside, so kind of almost a Xerox copy of that same pitch. And the runner at first, not going. Let's see if maybe he goes on a next pitch. Strike three, there it is. Nice cutter for strike three. One down now. Eleven steps in. Now number 50 with a bigger lead. Gianni aware of it, throws it over. And Joe tries a little hood and ball trick, but Diamond Club on it. They're not letting their runner get it picked off like that. So number 11 ready for the pitch now. Swing and a miss. Throw down. Oh, Isai, the ball popped out of his glove, so runner gets second. No contest. Oops. So runner now. Big lead and pulling our middle infielders over. Excellent baseball there. Swing and a miss with that 59 on a cutter. So Gianni's cutter finally working. That cutter is the thing that really set him apart this uh, second or later in the season. That ball is corked down right field line. Teddy unable to track it. That ball is going to bounce off the wall and go in the corner. We're probably going to have a play at the plate. And we have a throw in. It's a second, actually. My bad. I didn't see where the cutoff was going to go. I thought we were going to throw home, but we end up with a... Nice double by number 11 there, down the right field line, scores one. So Jack Rabbits had that lead 10-3, now it's 10-4. And now we've got runner still at second, but different one runner this time. Strike 64 on the black to number two. So Gianni living on that outside corner. Now he can locate his fastball. There it is, 63. And Ricardo up on second base, leaving a huge hole on the left side. Swing and miss at 63. So Gianni put three pitches in the same place and got what is the first out of the inning. Oh, second out of the inning, my bad. What was the first out? We have a strikeout? Man, I have a short memory. I don't remember the first out of this inning. And that ball is too far outside, so Gianni trying to throw the same pitch over and over again. Let's see if Diamond Club can you know, reach out and poke it like number 11 did and got his double down the right field line. Gianni does a fake throw to second, but no one there to receive it, so he holds on to it. Swing to miss at 62. That looked like that might have been the cutter. So number 23. Choking up a little bit, trying to get the bat around a little quicker. There it is, 60. I don't know what that pitch was, but whatever it was, it was a strike. It was 
Blow it inside. Ooh! Gianni throwing 63 inside. Let's hope he just sets up outside and throws that pitch that's been painting the outside corner. See if he can do that again. Ricardo leaving a huge hole on the left side. Swing and a miss, a 63 mile an hour pitch. And that will end the inning. Not before the Diamond Club does pick up a run, leaves a runner on second. We go to the top of the third. We'll have the top of the batting order up because uh, Jack finishes up last inning. So we should expect to see Joe, Jorge, and Gianni. Well, it looks like I haven't had any Wi-Fi error messages in a while, so maybe that's coming back with uh, regular service. That would be great. And I'm going to try to find out from the field dump what the time is so we can follow along. So ladies and gentlemen, look, looks like we got about hour 15 on the clock. We don't, have, we don't seem to have an official uh, call here because I couldn't, couldn't get uh, Ump to tell me or get his attention. Joe will take 67. It's a 12th throw in heat now. Struck out Jack to end the last inning and a first pitch to Joe. That ball is high, but not by much. 67 again. <laughs> nice pitch, 66. That's the pitch that Gianni was getting. Our boys better know that that pitch is a strike. And next pitch. Ooh, a little high. That was, that was really bad. That was really bad. You gotta stay focused. Swing and a miss at a 67 right at the knees across the middle of the plate. Joe's not able, don't make them laugh when they're up there. They gotta focus. Jorge will now step in. I know, and they're having plenty of fun. He's got a little, what, two strikes though. He's gotta he's got be. Uh, oh, good. Shout out to Margie, who's confirmed that the uh, video is better now. Wow, 67 right down the heart of the plate. Jorge's got to be swinging at that. Jorge kind of sh shrugging at Coach Hunter at third. Why he didn't swing at that? So, the bat kind of living on uh, Jack Rabbit's shoulders here against number 12. We need to make sure we like they're doing with Gianni, choke up. Almost take that two strike approach from the beginning. Get the ball, get the bat head to the ball earlier. Strike on the outside corner again. Number, number 12 now on the rubber. Jorge in, swinging a hype fire around. And he hits that ball straight up the middle. And that's gonna be a single. So beautiful. Uh, my first bait my first base camera got totally turned 
Yeah, you know, like totally turned. All right, I'll go fix that in a second. Gianni signals that he got the got the sign. Jorge will now have the sign. Until I can fix my camera, I can't uh, show you that Jorge. So a left-handed pitcher. We got to be smart about not getting picked off. And the throw over is not in time. Let's see if I can get over there and fix that first base camera. Feels. Oh, and Ump helps me out by calling timeout to clean off the. Uh, Plate. My camera turned. And Gianni now puts the takes the bat off his shoulder. He's ready for this pitch. And that ball is outside. And Jorge is out at second on that throw. Nice throw by 34. So I don't think Gianni got the, or sorry, I don't think Jorge got the jump he wanted on the left-hander. So now two down, Jack Rabbits. Uh, I think that was a ball. So Gianni with the bases empty will be facing the 69 mile an hour fastball there in the dirt. Oh, Gianni can't catch up with a 68 mile an hour high heater. 68, right at the letters. That was a beautiful pitch. Two balls, one strike. 2 1. And Gianni hits that ball straight up. I don't know where it went. Hopefully, nowhere near me. 2 2. It went way back here. And it's still rolling on the grass on the other field. And the next pitch is coming. Ooh, Gianni dances out of the way. That was 70 miles an hour. Woo. So we tap, we hit 70 on the gun today. That is, that is heat. 3-2 now. Pressure's on Gianni here. And strike three. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Excellent pitching there. So one hit and then a race on a caught stealing means the Jackrabbits do no damage in the top of the third. Get a little pep talk here for Diamond Club from their coach before they put their helmets on and our boys will come out of the dugout here in just a sec. Wow, that was really well coordinated. Yeah, let's let's not let's not do that anymore. <laughs> Let's just not. Yep. Everybody stand there and applaud me. Everybody clap your hands. Uh, -taka 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 -taka. So we'll see who hits the mound here. Jack grabbed a ball, but uh, fooled me. He's going to center field, looks like. Because Gianni is trotting back out onto the mound. East side behind the plate. And I'll see the defensive line up here once we have everybody. A lot of people just standing around right now. Just let me draw your attention to a woman on a horse in center field walking in front of the church right now. That's something no other baseball announcer has ever said. No other baseball announcer has ever said. Look at the woman on a horse in center field <laughs> just in front of the church. That's new. That is a new thing. That's why you come to the ballpark, folks, because you never know what you're going to come to. We didn't find out.
So we think about 220 or 230 at start. Probably. So Jackrabbit's now ready to take the field defensively. We've got Johnny continuing to be on the bump and east side behind the plate. That first pitch, number 13, is a 63 mile an hour fastball high. Joe at first, Chris at second, Ricardo at short, and Jorge at third, like they've been all game. Swing and misses a 66 mile an hour pitch there. That was nice. A lot of high heat here. The Javon and Jack and Teddy round out the outfield. Ooh, foul ball off Esai, but he he rubs it off and he's good. Esai asked by Coach Hunter if he's okay. And so number 13 way up on the plate. Now he's stepping off. At one point he almost looked like he was touching the, bat, the plate. And next pitch. Ball outside. That was that curve that didn't quite curve there. It's, and we got a 2-2 count. Oh, ball way inside. Only was 61 on the gun, but had a louder pop than that. So 13 has taken the count to full. And a payoff pitch. That ball is corked down the left field line and foul. Woo, that was close. That was close. So 13 with a really he uh, healthy swing there and that ball fouled by just a few feet. Hopefully the infield learns a little bit and hopefully our left fielder learns a little bit. So Johnny with no pitches to play with here has to bring another one. And he floats in a 59 mile an hour curve ball that didn't curve. So Gianni leaving a base on balls to start off the inning. Those almost always come back to haunt you. Gianni's got to find the zone here. And 63 elevated fastball for a ball. Number seven wanted to swing at it, wisely didn't. And that ball was absolutely unleashed over the left field to one, one hop, three hops to the left field fence. And that will end up being a double and moving the runner on first to third. So two strong hits from Diamond Club here in the bottom of the third. And no down. So Gianni's got to work on keeping that fastball down. When he elevates it, you can see both uh, the, the batter who walked and the batter who hit the double, they were able to put the ball a long way from home. So Gianni's got to be big leg kick and hopefully then reaching with his right arm, which will bring the fastball down. The ball is outside on 63. Definite tension in the air here. And that ball was, Jack catches it. Throw to second is not in time. Runner will return to third as well. And a long out for 34, well struck. Good dive by Jack to catch that. But that's sometimes how it happens. Number 34, you hit them where they are. So obviously everybody hitting Gianni now. This is uh, second time through the order and Diamond Club has a bead on Gianni. So we gotta make sure that. And that ball is hit to Teddy. Foul ball, foul ball. So foul ball caught in the wind there. Teddy not able to get underneath it.
So another fastball that uh, Diamond Club has uh, caught up to. You can see these boys definitely can hit. A lot of runs on all their games that they won so far in this tournament because you clearly they hit the ball hit hard. Second and third, one down, one strike to this batter. Strike two is 62, number 15. So Gianni now with the chance to bring that cutter of his and see if he can make it work. The defense got to be ready with their glove. And that's a foul ball down the right field line and over the fence and into somebody's backyard, it looked like. Wind blowing, continue blowing from left field towards right field. So picking up a lot of dust from the infield and throwing it on Keith and himself. They got him at first. They got him at first. And now they got him at second in a rundown. And that's a tri double play, a very awkward, unusual double play, but a double play nonetheless. Five, three, six. Yes. So with that, we will. Nobody scored because the runner on third didn't t didn't get home before the third out. So that was absolutely some of the best defense and heads up that we've seen from the Jackrabbits ever. Maybe with that. Um, uh, with that, that ends the third, and Keith leaves, uh, yeah, 10-4, nobody scored on that. Johnny bailed out by his defense there, and some confusion by the base runners on that dribbler to third. Looks like Teddy will bat, and Isaiah will be up, and I don't know how to see the rest of the lineup, <laughs> um, so I'm not going to mess with anything. Um, but that will be us going into the top of the fourth. We have a 10-4 lead. Oh, we got a foul ball off the bleachers behind us. And number, I think number 11 is back, or not number 11, number, what was he, 12? We'll be retur returning to the mound. And our boys cannot touch him, so uh, we're going to try to go for some high quality at bats here to make sure that we can Try to get some guys on. Yep, same kid, number 12. He'll get a few warm-ups, and then we'll see where it's up, uh, who's up this inning. Top of the fourth. And Teddy steps in here in the top of the fourth. And a ground ball to the right side, right to the second baseman, and it bounces funny. And Teddy will get down to first safely. And in steps Aaron, so Aaron's gonna do... 15 will come back in for 44. So this was Isaiah. Aaron got subbed out for Isaiah on the base pass. Isaiah got one at bat and Aaron will now come in. So Teddy with reaching first on that ball to second base. Teddy with a small lead and the catcher with an amazing arm. So I hope we don't steal. And a foul ball off to the right side. It's 
So Aaron in swinging, first pitch. And that ball's away and gets away. And now there's a throw to second. It gets through. Sorry, my second base camera just died. Why'd my second base camera just die? Ah, uh, arg. Teddy in safely at second. You'll have to trust me on that. It was, the ball skipped away. Okay, so Aaron now got his sign. Teddy getting lots of instructions at second. With a decent side, a decent size lead for Teddy. And that ball is outside again. 68 though, this kid is really popping the glove. And a huge hole on the right side if Aaron can hit it through. And he hits it right to the second baseman who tries to olay it. Teddy will come home for a play at the plate. And Aaron will stay at first. And Teddy scores on that from second. In steps Ricardo, who's had a pretty good hit earlier this game. I think every time somebody hits the fence on that side of bounces, that's what. And we're gonna have a substitution again. Kieran coming in for Aaron, so putting some speed on the bases. And it looks like all my, all my uh, cameras have decided to just go do their own thing at this point. So home plate still working. That ball is high. Ricardo had a big hit to left field, I think, once uh, this game already. Takes that, oh, it takes a strike at the knees. Tried to sell the inside pitch, but it wasn't. It was a strike. So first and third have just died on me. I'm not sure why. First base back. Oh, that ball's away. Second base. And Kieran will get in quickly. So that's why you make the substitute for Aaron for Kieran. Aaron maybe not comfortable making the break on that, but Kieran absolutely happy to do that. Take the second base on the pass ball, or wild, wild pitch, really. Nothing the catcher could have done there. I've lost track of the count completely. Two balls, one strike, nobody down. And Jack Rabbits now have a runner in scoring position. Oh, nice pitch, 68 at the letters. Man, Ricardo had no chance to catch up to that one. So big hole on the right side again. Swing and a miss, 68 on the outside. Ricardo had to swing at that as it's been called a strike all day because it is a strike. And he'll go down. And Javon now up to bat with Kieran at second. Oh, that ball comes in 69 high. So Javon, also a big swinger, often getting doubles on most of his hits. And that ball is high and away. Catcher gets a glove on, it kind of pops out, but no way that Kieran could get to third safely that way. And with second base creeping so close to the bag, Kieran can't even get much of a secondary lead. Next pitch. Oh, Javon was sort of, couldn't decide if he wanted to swing at that 67 mile an hour high heater, so he didn't do either. He kind of half swung. Need to put the bat on the ball here. Oh, it hit him. Oh, it didn't hit him. Ball inside. Well, it sounded like it hit, it sounded like it hit him. Swing and strike three. Oh, strike two. I'm the director. You can leave. You can leave. We're not going to do it. 
Oh, ball inside, and Javon will take first on ball four. And we have a timeout for, oh, I'm um, to clean off the plate. Mm, Chris will step in. Second and third now. And with Christopher on the... Uh, uh, at bat, then we'll have Isai on deck. Ooh, swing and a miss, 70. All right, so Christopher now. Christopher will take the next pitch. Oh, 69, 12 throwing, absolute BBs here. Chris unable to catch up with him. So two strikes. And the next pitch. Swing and a miss, 68. Three pitches, three strikes, three out. Or sorry, two out, two out, two out. I am a little flummoxed over here. Sorry, folks, I had some folks be... All right, so we now have a huge lead for Javon on first. But first, the pitcher not paying any attention to him as there is a runner on second. That was a strike, yep. And the next pitch. Strike two to Isai. So that is, I think, six straight strikes now to number 12, from number 12 uh, to the Jackrabbits. That ball is outside. Whew. Would hate to leave these runners on. Eastside did have a good stroke earlier in the game. But different pitcher, different time. So we'll see. Very close, ball two. Two balls, two strikes, two down. Runners on first and second. Isai now with a big deep sigh as he digs back into the batter's box. And that ball's spiked. So Isai takes a, what was that, an 0-2 count and ends up with a walk. So a good quality of bat for Isai there. And it looks like we will have a timeout on the field for coach to come out and chat with his flamethrower and so Jack Jack bringing up the bottom of the order here will be uh, oops there we go he has struggled at the plate today and he has seen this pitcher twice now I think because I think they made the substitution right before he got up the first time and I believe this is his third time up maybe it's only second time up you don't have a and Jack was ready to go, but there was no umpire, so now he's ready to go. Let's see what Jack can do with the pitch here. Man, he is just frozen by those pitches. 67 and outside corner. 12 has done a really good job of painting the corners today. Ah, he does it again, and Jack unable to catch up with it. 67. Jack spinning the box like a top. And next pitch. Ball gets away. And King. Jack's dad suggesting that he uh, maybe wear that. <laughs> uh, you definitely don't want to see that, but he's, he's messing with the sun. He definitely don't want to see that. All right, base is loaded. One, two pitch to Jack. And Jack gets on underneath that, but the right fielder is also underneath it and picks up the third out of the inning. And with that, Jack Rabbits leave the bases loaded. I think only plate one that inning. With a seven run lead, we'll go to the bottom of the fourth. This is probably it. 
Uh, by my count, there's only three minutes left on the timer, so we shall see what uh, what coaches or what sorry what the umps say here. But uh, that is being that Diamond Club is uh, home team. They will obviously bat. I think think that'll be it. I can't imagine that we're, we've got much time left on our, on our clock and they'll take, most of these innings, have, the top of these innings have taken 15 minutes or so. So this is the semifinal. The f winner will advance to the final, which is playing, the other semifinal is being played right now, so I don't know who's winning that game. And I believe we have to move fields halfway across the park, so we'll break down our stuff. And as such, we will, um, take a little bit of time to break down our stuff, get over to where we need to be, and then set back up. Um, my guess is a 20 minute break between games. Could be as much as 25 minutes, depends. I also don't know how the status of the other, other game as well. We ended up uh, quite a bit delayed due to the early morning game starting late and the game prior to us going six innings. Uh, well fought game going six innings for a tie uh, to ultimately Diamond Club walked the Pueblo premiere off. Balls in, coming down is the call. And Gianni will finish off this inning. So by my count, two innings yesterday, four innings today. He would get one more at bat, oh, sorry, one more inning pitched if we advance to the final. But likely he is done for the day. And that means in the final, uh, should we get there, we would see Jack and Christopher most likely. So number two. So Blue has confirmed that game time has expired. We will finish this inning. And a ground ball down the first base line, but foul. Nice play by the first base coach. He got exactly squared up, got in front of him, got, got down two hands. It was a really good play by the first base coach. Next pitch. That ball's high. So a 1-1 count now, number 12. Singing, uh, swinging a cat X. He lays off the 65 mile an hour fastball in his eyes. Eugene yelling at his son to finish it, get on top. Uh, did not do it there, 63, three and one. He let go of that ball way, way too high. But the worst thing we could do here is just give a free pass. We want to make sure that uh, Giants throwing strikes here in his final inning. Oh! That ball will get onto the other field at a very inconvenient time. There's a, looks like a double or a triple hit. Base clearing for the other team right as the ball came on the field. 
Well, they should have, I think, called a dead ball there. Anyway, back to our game. One, three, two, and a ground ball. To, oh, crazy hop off of the ground that then um, bounces off of Joe's shoulder and we get a runner on. So the baseball gods giveth and the baseball gods taketh away. That's how we got some runners on earlier. And that is how the choice select, or not choice select, that was our other team. Um, who we playing? Uh, Diamond Club will get their first runner on. We have some defensive changes. On the infield, it's the same. Joe, Chris, uh, Ricardo, and Jorge. But in the outfield, everybody playing very deep. And a play to first on the ground ball. We get the easy out. So we thought about going for the double play there, but uh, instead just took the easy play at first. So for one down. Kind of the equivalent of a sacrifice for number 52 and moved his teammate over to second. In the outfield, I've got, man, who is way out there? It's Kieran and Wright. Kieran and Wright, thank you. Jack in center, and I think that's Javon in left. 63 on the outside corner, so a little bit of heat coming off of uh, uh, Gianni's arm still in this. His fourth consecutive inning this game, seventh inning, sixth inning of the weekend. Strike two, 64. So somehow has found that outside corner again. Man, one pitch to the next. That ball has popped up straight back and it's going to go on the other field again. And I think ball on field, ball on field. We literally just traded. We put a ball in their field and they put a ball in our field. So that's how that's gonna be. Gianni now getting his sign, coming set. And that ball is 66 and high. So ball, next ball, so that was ball one. One ball, two strikes, one down. Johnny has the luxury of being able to ignore the runner on second. And that ball is hit off to the right side. So the longer this at bat goes, the more the statistical advantage turns to the batter who starts to see all the pitches. And they got him at third. Oh, man. Ump was, uh, that was a good throw by Isai and tag not on time. That's all right. Don't do it again. All right, here we go. Bang, bang, play, don't matter. We are up by enough that we can get the batter. There's a bang, bang, play. Strike. There it is. So that is two with a runner on third. So again, just need one more. And we've got no, sorry. Yeah, one ball now, 66 mile an hour high. Heart's beating pretty strongly here on the Jackrabbit sideline. Oh, and a ground ball right to Gianni, who's going to run it over and get the out to finish the game. Jackrabbits win the semifinal of the USSA Spring Classic, I think it's called, a Spring Kickoff, something like that. So we will go to the final. Uh, we'll let you know when and where, but give us about 20 to 25 minutes. If you have not yet uh, rung the bell or subscribed, you want to do that to catch the final of the Jackrabbits. Um, and we'll find out who the, who the winner of the other semifinal game was as well. So with that, we sign off on behalf of Mike and Keith. Thank you so much. Vamos Libres, and we'll see you in the final game.